The Salton Sea is a terminal saltwater lake. It's a flooded basin with no natural outlet, and the Salton Sea is shrinking. One of the reasons for that is the Imperial Water Transfer deal that brought hundreds of thousands of acre-feet of water to San Diego. San Diego State Economics Professor Ryan Abman says the biggest effects of that conservation plan were seen about seven years into the agreement. So really after 2011, we see a notable increase in the rate of decline of the water level, and that leads to then an increase in the, the rate of increased playa exposure. So more and more of this kind of dust emitting surface um, is, is being um, exposed every single year. The playa he talks of is the bare lake bed left behind after the water recedes. The result of reduced farm water runoff linked to the water transfer deal. Abman was co-author of a study that examined the resulting dust pollution and who it affected. He says areas with high poverty rates saw the greatest impact. What we have found is that kind of since 2011, the change in pollution has been much more dramatic for these historically disadvantaged communities than for the non-disadvantaged communities. Those findings are borne out by data collected by the California EPA. Their maps show census tracts in the Imperial Valley that are burdened by air pollution are typically the same ones that are home to disadvantaged communities. Dust pollution can lead to asthma. Dr. Stuart Fleischman is with Coachella Valley Volunteers in Medicine, a free clinic in Indio. He says all that dust and sand comes in windstorms, causing inflammation and asthma in local residents who breathe it in especially those who work outside. Yeah, it can get really bad where you're sitting in a chair and you're wheezing and you can't catch your breath and you have to use um, these medicines that open the airways. Um, once, because of the chronic inflammation inside, you're also very subject to infections. The report's conclusion that pollution is hitting low-income communities is no surprise to Tina Shields, the water manager at the Imperial Irrigation District, or IID. Well, I think the entire region could be characterized as uh, low income or disadvantaged communities. Um, and the area where I live, all but one of the towns is classified um, according to the California criteria as disadvantaged communities. The IID in the state of California are trying to reduce dust pollution and ensure that some of that Colorado River water runs into the Salton Sea. Dust mitigation projects include planting rows of salt-tolerant plants to catch the particulates, also plowing furrows to roughen the soil and make it less flat. You have to put the right project on the right soil, though. Surface roughening is not appropriate for sand because you're just stirring the pot, essentially. But if you have lands like in the southern region, which have more of the clay soils and you do the surface roughening, we found it to be upwards of 99 percent effective for controlling those emissions. Some people have called the Salton Sea a mistake caused by a Colorado River dike rupture in 1905. But back in the days when the river ran wild, it would flood and fill up that lake bed quite often. Sometimes the lake would cover an area from what's now Palm Springs in the north all the way to Mexicali in the south. Geologist Tom Rockwell says at times it may have shrunk to the size of a puddle, but there's almost always been a Salton Sea fed by the Colorado River. Uh, for instance, in the last 1,000 or 1,100 years, it's flipped course and drained into the Salton Trough six times, the last one being around 1730 CE. And what it does, it fills up entirely to around plus 13 meters elevation and then drains back to the Gulf. Today, Salton Sea remains a habitat for fish and migratory birds, and it's the best way to contain windswept dust. I asked Tina Shields if she thinks it will eventually dry up. Not if we can help it. The um, goal of, a, of the Imperial Irrigation District is to continue to have water resources for our community and our agricultural water users. And as long as you have agriculture, you will have runoff. That runoff is still the most important source of water for the Salton Sea. And the way things are going, the IID estimates the Salton Sea will stabilize in 2047. It will be two-thirds its current size with an estimated 130 square miles of exposed lake bed. Thomas Fudge, KPBS News.